Hello everybody and welcome back. So today we're doing something that I haven't done in a very long time. So what we're doing is we're doing another one of those building videos where I just do a long time lapse. Now I haven't done this in a long time so I apologize if it is a little bit scuffed. But since it is Halloween I felt like building a graveyard and then I thought hey what if I put this on YouTube and got views for doing the same thing. So the first thing I wanted to do when building this is you gotta lay out the shape. Now this is generally the first step when making a build, especially an organic build like this. I want it to be very organic. Because around the graveyard I want it to be kind of like a torn down, falling apart cobblestone wall. And so now that I have the shape down, I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna add depth. And what that means is basically I'm gonna spam stairs, half slabs, walls. And what this does is it allows me to give the illusion that the wall is run down and old and falling apart while still allowing it to function as an actual wall as long as I build it up high enough. So it's not an exact science as you can see here, it takes a bit of fiddling. The end design is ultimately worth the effort. Cobblestone is a good block for this because it looks very messy and there's a lot of different variants so that's a very good block for this kind of build. Now that I have the depth worked out, the next thing I like to work on is texture. And what that means is I'm going to take the mossy cobblestone and I'm going to make it in patches because a lot of people tend to scatter mossy cobblestone randomly. But what I find is that if you put it in patches or in like around areas, it looks like the moss has been growing out from a central point. And this is only encouraged if you add vines on where the mossy blocks are. Then after that, just to add a little bit more spookiness, I added a bit more vines and some cobwebs, because what Halloween build, what good Halloween build doesn't have cobwebs everywhere? Finally, I added a bunch of iron bars around the place, especially where in the small gaps in the wall, I added iron bars, just to make that look a bit more messy, a bit more torn apart, I guess. I don't know. But I think the end result turned out really good, especially considering I didn't really have a plan going into this build. So, now that we have the wall finished, the next thing we need to work on is the texture of the floor. Now, sure, this it, this would work perfectly fine, but I want to make it better. So, a trick that I like to use is, what a lot of people don't realize, is you can mix in regular dirt with coarse dirt, and it won't turn to grass as long as there's no grass blocks around. So what I'll do is, I'll, I'm taking some coarse dirt, regular dirt, and rooted dirt, and I'm just kind of mixing it up to make the ground look more messy, more treaded, and then I'm using the podzol to make it kind of less clear, you know, I, I don't want a straight line. And finally, the spruce planks work really well to sort of make that slope a bit more gradual, because it's very similar to the dirt texture. And now that we've done all that, the next thing we need to work on is the focus of the graveyard, gravestones. Now, I went through a couple of designs for the gravestones, as you're seeing here, and some involving lodestones and grindstones and a lot of stones, but I ultimately ended up going for that design right there. Very simple. It's a little bit big for a graveyard of this size, but I think it ultimately turned out pretty well, and I, I'm happy with it. I haven't actually built a gravestone before, so I don't know what they're really supposed to look like, but I think this is good enough. So, now we have the gravestones, we have a fancy wall, we have all the stuff. And as you can see here, I'm just texturing up the gravestones a bit more. But what kind of haunted graveyard would this be? Without some ghosts. Ghosts. 
So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some candles and we're going to... I really like using candles in builds whenever I can because they work really nice. They look really nice, but also you can get very exact light levels, which is very useful for in building. Another trick is if I put a green candle on top of a pumpkin, it looks like the pumpkin has a little... Uh, what are those things called? I don't know what it's called, but it looks cool. And finally, it's time to add the ghosts. Now, I have a data pack on this world that allows me to customize armor stands. And so that's kind of what I'm doing here. I fiddle around for a bit, but I ultimately went for a ghost design that's inspired from a game called... It's actually inspired from an old Zelda game, where there are these ghosts that hold, like, blue lanterns. And so that's kind of where that came from in my brain. And so I put a couple of those around... And that, that's about it. That should be the build finished. And now, here is the final build.